Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another episode of Sneaker Talk where we talk about the latest sneaker releases, sneaker leaks, and everything to do with sneakers in general. We don't have a lot of time left before I have to head to work, but I really wanted to push and squeeze another episode in for today because it's literally releasing today, so it needs to be covered. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the collaboration between Adidas and Palace Skateboards for Lucas, I think it's Lucas Poig's new signature shoe. Yes, guys, famous skater, Lucas, I, th I still think I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's Lucas Poig, right? That's how you pronounce his last name. I'm probably absolutely butchering it, to be honest, but that's okay. Uh, Lucas has been signed to Palace for a couple years now, and now, today, we are getting his third sneaker. I think it's his third? Third sneaker, yeah, third. It's his latest signature shoe, and it is in collaboration with Adidas. It is releasing in Palace's second week, which is today, uh, of their summer collection. So I was like, oh my god, we need to cover it. We didn't cover it in the drop list video, but we just literally just uploaded that, so definitely go check it out. I cover all the colors of all the pieces that is releasing in that week. It was actually quite hard to find a drop list for that week, but I'm glad that we're able to get that video out. Now, with very little time remaining, we have to get this one out as well, which is the Adidas and Palace collaboration that is releasing in that week as well. Now, how we're going to cover that, how we're going to cover the sneaker, the colorways, the release details, is by heading over to a Hypebeast article and covering all the details there. It has a short little video that goes for about a minute, so I think we should probably watch that as well. Um, but... I don't know, maybe we'll skip out on that and just cover what the article has to say. Maybe, actually, yeah, let's do that. That's probably the better way to go about it. But if you want me to keep covering upcoming Palace releases, upcoming Adidas releases, don't forget to leave this video a big old like, comment in the comment section down below, and subscribe to the channel as we are trying to hit 2,200 subs before the end of May. We can do it, guys. We've only got not too many days left. That's okay. I think we could do it, though. So we've only got about, I think it's all, just over 30 just over 30 subs, we can do it guys. Tell your mates, tell your family, let's hit it, let's get it. But anyway, quick, we gotta head over to the Hypebeast article so I can cover it today before I have to head to work. So let's head on over to the Hypebeast article to cover the new Lucas, Poig, Alice, and Adidas sneaker. So the video is embedded into the article here. So if you guys wanna watch the video, I'll link the article down in the description section below if you guys wanna have a look at it there. But Let's dive into what the article has to say about the release details, and then we'll dive into the actual sneakers colorway, because I think there's three colorways coming out for it, but let's have a look. So, Palace and Adidas Skateboarding team up for Lucas Poig's newest signature shoe. The Adidas Poig is the French Skate Savant's third signature silhouette. So I think I was right, it was the third one. Palace and Adidas Skateboarding have teamed up to create a new signature shoe for Lucas Poig. The aptly named Poig is the French street skating icon, has been part of the team Adidas for close to a decade, and has already and already has two signature models under his belt. 2012's Lucas Poig Pro and 2016's Lucas Premier ADV. So the Poig is his third total release and he, uh, his first after signing to Palace in 2017. Offered in pink, white, and black, the Poig is a low-cut silhouette built of supple monochromatic leather. Poig's name is stamped in gold by the lateral midfoot three-stripe graphic with Palace's signature triferg and Adidas logo done up in gold on each tongue. Ooh, fancy gold. <laughs> There's also a metallic top eye stay above the shielded lacing system. Palace spell out graphics are embossed on each midsole and heel clips reach up high with contrasting rubber stripes. White on, uh, white on the pink pair, red on the white pair and blue on the black pair. Due to the abstract traction pattern utilized on the outsole and this rugged heel embellishment, each offers a slight dose of driving shoe flair. Final Palace graphics Hit the inner soles and secondary lace sets offer a contrasting dash of flair if the wearer so chooses. Okay, so you get extra laces. That's cool. Hype Beast briefly spoke with Poig himself about the new collaboration, what he looks for from his skate shoes, and what he likes about being a member of Team Palace. See the interview below. Okay, so they actually got a bit of an interview. Yeah, why not? It's got release details and stuff in it. Let's read it too. So that is the overall sneaker. We've got 19 photos to cover. 
we got some angles. Uh, let's read the interview and see what it has to say. So, from 2012's Lucas Puig Pro to the 2016 Lucas Premier ADV, and now the Palace Puig, how has your signature line evolved? I really like this one. Is oh, I really like this one. Is really special. I got the best crew involved for the design. My mates at Palace on one side, the skate legend that is Scott Johnson on the Adidas side. The shoe is just really made by skaters and made for skating. I know the Lucas Premier Pro was a bit low. It was kind of hurting your feet when you skated a lot in it. And my first shoe was a bit puffy. Oh, okay, so he's critiquing his own designs. I like it. This Palace Poig shoe has just got everything I need to skate. Basically comfy, classy, tech. And it looks mad different to any other Adidas shoe ever, which is banging. <laughs> That's how you describe it. It's banging. Everything about it is brand new and it's beautiful to look at. What performance feature did you like the most about your skate shoe? What I look at uh, most for a shoe needs to be grippy, slim and sharp in the front. I'm always looking down at my feet when I'm skating, so I need the tops of the shoes to look classy. What's your favorite feature of the Palace Puig? The triangular back of the shoe with the sole going up it. That's classy. <laughs> you know, just being modest, just being modest. Some skaters seemingly burn through uh, pairs of shoes a week. How often do you swap out your skate footwear? Do you prefer the feel of a fresh pair or more of a worn in shoe? I definitely like it better when they feel used. So I skate every day. I probably swap out my shoes every 10 days. Bruh, there's so many pairs of shoes a year. No wonder skaters are just like the biggest consumers in this market. It's just new shoes, new shoes, new shoes, new shoes. <laughs> Damn. What, do you what drew you to skate for Palace Team? The money? I don't know. I doubt it. Let's have a read. Let's have a read. The bros, the mates, the skate team, and the owners who are real, real legends. One of them can even uh, switch back tail, shove it like uh, G uh, G Giano. Uh, Lan Lanucci What they did with the brand is so bananas and they actually come correct Palace is still a hundred percent skateboarding even if Ronaldo is wearing a jersey. I love that much love to the PWBC smiley face The Palace X Adidas skateboarding Puig Pro will release on Palace's web store in the US and Europe May 22nd the retail price is set for 140 USD. So there we go. As I said, it is part of week two's drop. It'll be uh, dropping on the same time for 140 USD a pair. So what we'll do now is we'll dive into the images and have a look at this crazy sneaker. Oof, so, um, damn. The first color, we do get a lot of pink salmon -y treatment here. So we've got this crazy, it kind of looks like a, I wouldn't say a bowling shoe, but like an indoor court shoe, you know, with that outsole, with that big ass outsole, it kind of looks like an indoor court shoe. But I suppose those would be ideal for skating, like stuff with a lot of grip, stuff with a thick sole, and leather upper, that's going to take forever to grind through compared to like canvas and stuff. So I mean, the materials have been chosen well, and it'll probably be a really good skate shoe. Um, yeah the colors are pretty wild as well even though it's all pink on the upper i do like that it's got hints of like lighter and different shades of pink like the outsole's darker to the upper the upper's detailing is a little bit lighter as well it all just gives it a bit of contrast because if it was all just one solid block of pink i don't know if people would be going for it uh, it looks like some really high quality materials there we'll keep diving through it's cool man i love the dual branding on the um toe there oh sorry on the tongue there it's pretty wild. It's pretty crazy. Um, go. Wow. Okay. So that that does come all the way up. So there's the obviously the top of the heel there, and it almost comes up to. Uh, no, it literally does like about halfway. That's crazy. That is super high up. But I suppose it'll protect the back of the shoe from um, taking a lot of you know hits and stuff, and it'll probably help in some skate tricks and stuff like that. There's that crazy outsole. That would have a lot of grip on it. With the um, directions the sole is heading, with all the different um, patterns on it and stuff, that'll definitely help with the grip on a skateboard. So that's pretty sick. Wag in gold on the side. Damn, that's that's shiny. And gold eyelets as well. Gold eyelets, crazy. Okay, so we've got an all white pair with red detailing on it. I kind of like this one more. Looks like a yeah, like a uh, '90s indoor um, court shoe. I kind of vibe with this one. This one's kind of nice. Yeah, the white one's more for me. I didn't even realize there was a trifoil logo there. Oh my god. 
should have seen that before. Yeah, I like the white and red ones. The white and red ones are nice. Moving on. The black. Black and blue. Oh, it's got the palace P embossed all over the tongue. How did I not see that? Yeah, that's sick. That's sick. Um, you know I'm a fan of skate shoes. You know for me, I'm a fan of skate shoes. I love skate shoes. Normally high tops. High top sneakers are my kind of thing. But this is a really cool sneaker. And it sounds like it's been designed exactly for what its intended purpose is, which is skating. So, um... I would say that um, both Palace and Adidas have done a good job. This is going to appeal to a lot more than just skaters. People are going to... Um, I know that people are that are a fan of like Adidas low tops, like the, um, you know, like the Stan Smiths and um, uh, the... Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, just like uh, the Gazelle, like literally the massive line of Adidas low tops. I feel like this is going to appeal to that crowd. That crowd's really going to love um, this sneaker. It might not like it in all the colors, but you've got a little color variation here. You can go with the black and blue. You can go with the white and red. Or if you want to, you know, spice it up with some pink, you can spice it up with some pink. For 100, 140 USD with the leather, with the details, with the it being a co-branded um, release, so it's Adidas and Palace, uh, I would say it's pretty worth the money. Pretty worth the retail. It looks mad padded in the back there. You can see that. It looks so thick. I think that this is going to be mad comfy. I feel like this is going to be a mad comfy sneaker. But um, we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see, guys. But I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts and opinions on the um, Puig Pros? That's what they were called, right? Yeah. The No, that was the originals. Oh, my God. What is this one called again? Oh, my God. I can't even remember. Signature sneaker. What's it called? It's the latest one in the Puig series. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. The Palace Adidas Skateboarding Quake Pro. Oh, I was right. The Quake Pro. Yeah. Okay. Ah, such long names. What are your thoughts on it, guys? Are you going to cop it for 140 USD from Palace's store when it drops at 11 a.m. GMT uh, for 140 USD? Is it a cop? Is it a drop? What's your favorite colorway? Is it going to be the black? Is it going to be the white? Or is it going to be the pink? Which one are you feeling the most? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions on it in the comment section below. And that's all I've really got to say about this uh, upcoming sneaker, guys. There, I, I don't have a lot of time, so I just wanted to really just cover it quite quickly. It's dropping this week, literally today, um, in the Palace Week 2 drop. So stay tuned if you want to pick it up. It's a cool sneaker. For 140 USD, it looks like a really solid skateboarding sneaker. You should definitely pick it up if you're a skater. It's just a sick piece. It would be a sick piece to have. I mean, if you have all three colors, that'd be kind of cool to like collect them all. <laughs> kind of like Pokemon. Nah, it's sick. It's definitely sick. Um, I would like him to um, do maybe a high top version of it because I'm more of a high top kind of guy, but it's still pretty steezy. Still pretty steezy. I won't, I don't reckon it'll release in a size 16 or 17. So I don't think I have to worry about missing out on it or anything like that. But all in all, it's a pretty steezy sneaker, guys. Um, but I want to hear your thoughts and opinions. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you going to pick it up when it drops today? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions in that comment section below. And if you want me to keep covering upcoming Adidas releases, upcoming Palace releases, don't forget to leave this video a big old like, comment in the comment section down below, and I can definitely cover that for you guys. And if you're not subscribed, maybe subscribe today as we are trying to hit 2,200 subs by the end of May. I think we can do it. It's only 30 subs, guys. We definitely got this. But that's everything to say about the Lucas Quake Pro that's coming out today for 140 USD at 11 a.m. GMT time on Palace's second week. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And until the next Thinker video, until the next Streetwear video, until the next Palace Skateboards video, guys, I'll catch you later.